is a hot rod. Built it myself. Did you learn that? The prison auto shop? Oh, oh my. Car, get your up. Just give me a minute. What's good, life gainers? Ladies, if you ever go in the bathroom and you see a white woman looking like this, like she's strung out on drugs and seen the devil with her own two eyes, might I suggest you just evacuate the bathroom and make a better decision? We are talking the movie review of Traffic for the Week, and this is the top 10 this past week, and Traffic is at the very bottom. If you're just now finding my channel for the first time, go ahead, subscribe, click the notification bell, be down with Life Game. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. Sex is hell. Host, life gains today. Should you stream or beam traffic that came out this past weekend? I went to see it. We're going to talk about it. But before I do that, we put on these plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. Work on skilling up this craft, giving y'all a better review experience so y'all can really know I saw this thing in four eyes if I needed to because I want to save y'all money. So let me show y'all what a lot of the reviewers are saying about this movie. You've already seen where it ranked in the top 10 movies over this past weekend and there's a reason why it hit that point. Take a look at the reviews. So the movie was produced by Paula Patton and a heavy focus of this movie is placed on Paula Patton's beauty, more so than anything else. From the trailers, I'm sure you all could see that you had a beautiful couple. Let's get away from this. <laughs> it's miles away from everything. It's a celebration. I did not know you guys were coming. I want to give her something she could remember for the rest of her life. He never ceased to amaze me. Going away for a little romantic getaway, they stumbled upon a biker group, but you didn't know what was going on with that biker group. So that biker group was part of a little bit of a mob that was doing human trafficking. That's why the movie's called Traffic. And so what happens throughout that point in time is not only is this biker group doing the trafficking, but parts of local government is connected to make this ring work. And so throughout this movie, you have Paula Patton feeling a little guilty because a girl runs into the bathroom, drops her phone in there and basically says, I need your help. And they, Paula Patton and her boyfriend go to this little vacation getaway and the girl pops back up at the house. And that's when the mayhem begins. Got to be more careful. I think I put my phone in your bag by accident. Let me help you. So those biker dudes track that phone because all kinds of data, world phone numbers and everything is in that phone. They got to have that phone because whoever's got that phone could end their sting. And so you know what happens from that point. Paula Patton does, Paula Patton does her best to be a badass woman because they do break into that house. Some people die, but we're not gonna say who's, who dies, black people. And some other things happen. And there's something I'm not gonna tell you guys, so I don't wanna spoil it for you, but that couple, Paula Patton and her boyfriend, had a best friend that was involved, and he was pure nuts. And we'll leave it at that. And so as we start to get closer to the end of the movie, you start seeing how the local government plays a role in all this. 
and you see what Paula Patton has to do to escape. And she even at one point in time was caught and was gonna be trafficked in this human trafficking ring. Overall, I would give the movie 6.5 out of 10. If you want the life gain stamp, I can't give it to you, especially with Avengers coming out this weekend. Avengers is gonna blow everything out the water. And as you can see, you saw where the movie ranked just this weekend. However, ladies, if you wanna go out and see the message of this movie, they do weave in a message to try to, I guess, get people's knowledge up of how bad human trafficking is. If you want to go and see that, that's something I think is probably of a greater value than its entertainment value. Paula Patton didn't really deliver a great acting role. Really, nobody in the cast delivered a great acting role. I like the message of the movie, but overall, the movie wasn't that good. It was, like I said, 6.5 out of 10. There are some entertaining parts which keep it from going lower. So, ladies, if you want to have something to do while your men are watching Avengers, maybe go see this, get a good message out of it, but don't go there thinking you're going to be blown away by the acting. If you haven't downloaded the app I showed you guys last week, the Stardust app, which allows you to do a 30-second video clip directly from your phone to give reviews, go ahead and download that app, search for me in there as Life Gains, and follow me. I want to see what you guys do in terms of movies. I want to hear your reviews for these movies so that I can better give you guys movie reviews. So I want to hear you guys. Get up there, download that app, and start doing your movie reviews. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Just stream this one when it comes on your favorite paid service. But ladies, if you want to go do something because your men are going to be at Avengers, you can watch this, but I would encourage you, just go see Avengers. You'll have a great time. And until that next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.